Good morning. Hey everyone, it's Kelly Day coming to you live from my art studio in Colorado and I wanted to chat with you guys today about fitting your art into a busy corporate life. So if you are a corporate woman, give me a shout, say hey, and, and let me know if you're trying to fit your art into your life. Um, if your days are filled with a busy job and I know that it's so hard to fit art in and at the end of the day or on the weekend you're exhausted, depleted and it's hard to feel inspired. So um, if you know that you have great paintings in you but you don't know how to get them out, that's what I'm going to talk about today. All right, so a lot of the women I work with are corporate women like tech, healthcare, mortgage industry. Um, and life can feel very draining for them. Um, you know, their lives are good in other ways, but without their art, there's deep personal satisfaction missing, and it's hard for them to feel inspired because their jobs are so all-encompassing, and, and oftentimes they feel depleted and, and have issues with their body because they've been working so hard and their life is out of balance. So. If that's you, I'm talking to you today. And if, you know, these women that I work with that are corporate women, they know that painting makes them happy, but they have no idea how to fit it in. And if they are fitting it into their lives, they don't know how to grow their art. So a lot of times the corporate women that I know who are trying to fit it in at night and on the weekends are kind of plateaued and they don't know how to make their art a bigger part of their life. So for all of them, they've taken their art as far as they can go on their own. And this is what happened to Lisa and Christine and Terry, just to name a few. They were all, or they are all, highly successful women in the medical, the tech, the finance industries, but their art was missing. Okay, so they were all painting on the weekends and the evenings, but feeling like they weren't making forward progress. They all knew they had creativity in them, but how to let it out. They didn't know how to unlock the amazing paintings that were inside of them and truly do something great with their art ability or how to develop a style, okay? And because they're high achieving women like you might be, they're successful in other areas of their life, they want this with their painting as well. All right, so give me a shout if you're here, you're a corporate woman, you're feeling tired from your job, and you just want to learn how to fit your art into your life. Most of all, these women knew their lives were out of balance and they knew they couldn't keep going, just working without their art for years, feeling out of whack and constantly quieting their creative voice. They knew things were getting out of balance. They knew that their unhappiness was building on them and they knew it wasn't going to be a good recipe to go for another year in that direction. Um, so they tried classes and workshops, some of them tried paint nights with friends, one of them even told me she, she worked with an art mentor who taught her how to paint just like her, um, but that doesn't unlock her greatest art, okay? What it took to unlock these women's art who were working these busy day jobs and start creating emotionally moving, captivating paintings was truly a holistic approach. Okay, learning technique didn't cut it alone. Learning to paint just like their teacher didn't cut it. Trying to go it alone or with friends didn't cut it. The way these women unlocked the art that was inside of them at the end of the day after their busy jobs was only to have a full holistic approach, okay? And I'm gonna tell you more about that in a minute. What you can do to start that journey for you like Terry and Christine and Lisa, who are all painting now and loving their art. The tools to start, when you paint with a holistic approach, this is what I mean by this, okay? It's more than technique, it's more than painting like your teacher, it's all of this. The tools to start painting with joy and working through the awkward teenage phase, as I call it, in the middle of the painting when you're afraid to ruin it, and finish the paintings professionally. Um, learning how to open to greater inspiration because when you're working a corporate job and you're depleted and tired, it's very hard to get going if you aren't feeling inspired. So learning how to open to greater inspiration and create an artist ritual for lighting your fire again is going to be a huge part for you guys, okay? Because great paintings do not come from staring at the canvas. 
someone to show them how to combine fun materials in a process that makes them excited to paint for the rest of their lives. Because if you're not having fun, you'll never do it. And once you discover a process that you love, you're just gonna wanna get in your studio all the time. So that's key, okay? Also becoming best friends with an artist mindset that is gracious and encouraging to you. If you're always telling yourself, why am I bothering? I'm no good at this. You know, if you're beating yourself up while you're painting, you're never gonna be able to sustain it. And that's no fun when you're tired after a job. And most importantly, they, the part of my holistic approach that I'm talking about that's so important for you corporate ladies is someone to hold a mirror up to you and show you what's unique about you and how to play that up in your paintings. And so I'm gonna say something I've never said before because I strive to be modest, um, but nobody knows how to deliver all of this like I do. Nobody has created a program that holds your hand and walks you through all of this like I do. The reason I created this groundbreaking work and program for women like you is because I had to work through all of these issues on my own. From an underconfident single mom on food stamps, believe it or not, I was at one point to an owner of a thriving art business, corporations and organizations like hospitals, banks, licensing, and famous outdoor stores have used my art and I've sold my paintings for thousands of dollars for over a decade. So if you want me to help you get there so that you don't have to waste any more time and money trying to figure it all out for yourself, like Lisa and Christine and Terry and Magdalene did, it took me over a decade, by the way, then I can help you. I've opened up a few times on my calendar this week to speak to a few corporate women who are ready to unlock their art and are tired of living in depletion thinking about your art. And if that's you, you can book an art breakthrough call with me this week at kellydayart.com forward slash booking. That's Kelly with an I-E, dayart.com forward slash booking. Okay, it all starts with taking one step. And when I was trying to make my own art happen, I taped a little sticky note on my vision board that said, hold a vision just put your foot on the next conscious step. So when you take one blissful step toward your art, other doors begin to open. Opportunities arise. Ask and your teacher will appear. The thing is, if you don't take one step for your art, you're still gonna be thinking about it and you're gonna be more depleted than ever in another year. So you get to decide, do you want to stay in your corporate job thinking about your art and feeling more and more tired and out of balance? Or do you wanna take one blissful step towards your art and open the door today to living your art, your life as, a, as an artist for the rest of your life? Because that's all it takes is one step. A lot of times high achieving women think they have to have the whole plan at once. And that's the biggest mistake. You don't, you don't know what you're doing. You've never done this before. You are not expected to know all the steps to becoming a happy, thriving professional artist, okay? All you have to do is take one step and that's how you find yourself living your fulfilling life as an artist in a year or two, instead of being in the same place you are now. So if Christine and Terry and Lisa and Magdalene and so many other corporate women can do it, you can do it too. These are real women who decided they were done being a victim of their busy lives and they decided to take charge and change the one thing that they could actually change, which was themselves. So I know you have doubts and I know you've been let down by other programs and well-meaning teachers, and I know it can be hard to know who is the best person to guide you. There are so many artists out there right now offering to teach and putting up you know, Facebook ads, I get that, but, but please make sure to read the reviews. Go on my website, read my reviews. There are a lot of inexperienced artists out there claiming they are teachers. So make sure to read the reviews and look at what their students are doing. And I want you to bring all those doubts and fears and skepticism and all your questions to an art breakthrough call with me this week. Seriously, bring it all, I can handle it. We'll have a deep look at what's not working with your art. I'll help you connect the dots so you can get total clarity on the root cause and the core issues that are holding you back and come up with a plan to move forward in a big way with your art. And it'll totally be worth the 60 minutes of your time because we have breakthroughs on every single call. Most women tell me they learn more from these calls and they have 
in years of taking art classes. All right, so these are complimentary art calls for corporate women if you're ready to move your art forward now, not after the house remodel, not after you visit your kids in college, but now. Um, however, I only offer these limited art breakthrough calls to women who are serious about expanding their art to an amazing new place now. So if that's you, this is my super niche, um, and you are welcome to book a call with me. I've opened a few spots on my calendar this week to have an art breakthrough call with you. If that sounds like you, you can book at kellydayart.com forward slash booking. That's kelly with an I-E dot dayart.com forward slash booking. Let's talk now, and I look forward to hearing from you. All right, bye. Leave a comment. Let me know if this helped.